Hello and welcome to this session one overview video. This will be just a brief overview of your tasks, readings, and assignments for this week. And we will start each week with one of these videos. And they kind of it kind of goes over the session agenda and hopefully um, spells out some of the confusion that you might have. So welcome to the class and our first week um, this week. Uh, so what you'll want to do each week is you'll want to go and review the session agenda. That will give you a, a layout of everything you need to do for the week. And so you can always find the session agenda by going to content. And then under content, there is a whole separate section, session agendas. And right now, session one agenda is active. So we'll click on that. And then the session agenda outlines everything for the week. It starts out by giving the guiding questions. And um, this week, we're really focusing on what is um, literacy and what does that literacy look like across the disciplines and what is your discipline? Who are we introducing ourselves and pooling our knowledge and building up and realizing what our knowledge is that we have together. So. The activities, um, the explore activities are listed here and they will always be available on Monday and that's today. And it lists here the different things you need to do. And so we don't have any readings this week um, except to read the course syllabus and to read the assignment sheet for the disciplinary inquiry blog. And then there are a handful of activities, of um, small activities just to get us started and get us going in the course. So you read through this agenda here that talks about the different activities and those are the explore activities available Monday. Then we have the discuss activities that are always due on Friday and the focus and reflect activities that are always due on Sunday. So all of those things will be here on the agenda. So I just want to, um, since it is the first week of the semester, I did want to highlight a couple things in the, um, in the syllabus. So I'm now going to switch over to the syllabus. We are on the syllabus and there are three uh, things I'd like to highlight on the syllabus. Um, you are to, of course, read the whole syllabus, and if you have any questions, please um, post those and um, reach out to me to, an to answer those or clarify those. But first of all, I want to really highlight um, the weekly schedule. This weekly schedule, and this is on the um, bottom of page five in your syllabus, but this weekly schedule really describes um, the kind of rhythm and flow of the course. So every um, Monday, the Explore activities will be available, and the Explore activities are all laid out on the session agenda, which we were just on, and we will go back to in a moment. And then Discuss activities are always due on Friday by 11.59 p.m. You can, however, finish them ahead of time, so don't feel like you have to stay in Friday night and do all the Discuss activities. You could definitely finish them ahead of time. If you do your readings, you could do those on the weekend and finish your Discuss activities Tuesday or Wednesday. But by um, the latest, they need to be done by Friday at 11.59 p.m. And then our Focus and Reflect activities are due at Sunday at 11.59 p.m. And those activities will sometimes be reflecting on what we've just do done in the past week, or they'll be focusing us on what we're to do in the next week. So they're, um, they have kind of a dual purpose. So those are our three main events that we have throughout the week. So this is not... Um, this is not the type of online course where you can log on once a week, get your information, post once, and be gone. It's, um, it's much more of an interactive, ongoing, online learning community where you will need to um, visit and stop in and log in multiple times a week. And in fact, when I asked for advice from the previous students, what, what advice for success that they would give to incoming students, to you, many of them said, and I have this listed right here. Many of them said um, that this is a demanding course, but they also said it's very rewarding and that they learned a lot. But they said that to keep on top of it and to keep organized, use the checklist feature, which I'll show um, in a moment, and also um, visit the D2L course um, multiple times throughout the week, four to four to six times throughout the week, even if that's just popping in to see what's happening there, to see if there's been any responses to your items, etc. But visiting the um, D2L course D2L site multiple times. So keep in mind that the rhythm and the flow of this course is one that you will visit multiple times throughout the week. So it's not just a drop and bop in. So multiple times. Next, um, I'd like to focus on the late work policy. And this is on page seven. I'm just scrolling down here. And um, I want to focus on this just because there have been students in the past who have um, uh, really struggled with the late policy and it has really affected their grade and in, in some cases not passing the class. So do note that assignments have due dates and they have due dates so that 
everybody in the community and the peer collaboration and thinking and collaborative thinking can happen. So if you're posting assignments late after that discussion happens, you miss out on a lot and so do your classmates. So posting things on time has a purpose. Um, and so you need to post things on time and there's a penalty and this is all described here if things are post if things are posted late. In some cases, um, there's no credit if things are posted late. In other cases, there's a penalty. So do read through the late work policy. And then also on the on the page three, it discusses the op the opportunity to opt out of the final exam. So as you read through the ex um, syllabus, make sure to read about that as well. So there is a final exam. However, if you um, if you score enough check pluses, checks or check pluses, and complete enough of the focus and reflect activities on time, you can actually opt out of the exam. And so then what that would mean is your final grade, if you're an undergrad, um, would be calculated out of 90 points rather than 100 points. And if you're doing that for graduate work, it'd be calculated out of 135 points versus 145 points. So you would be exempt from those 10 points. And I had a large number of students last semester and typically each semester that are able to opt out of the final exam. So please read through that and see um, so you know about that opportunity and and feel free to email me or post any questions on the website if you have more questions of clarification about that. Now we will go back to our course website and I'll explain a couple more things there. Here we are back on the course D2L site, and I just wanted to point out a few different features. So first of all, here is the checklist feature. When you click on this checklist feature, I'm not in the student mode right now, but I will go to the student mode. When you click on the checklist feature, it actually, um, you just click on it, the checklist, and it will list a checklist of events for the week of things, um, events and assignments and tasks for the week. And so this checklist is for you to use. I do not have a monitoring device that allows, lets me know if you've checked something off or not. It's just something to help you stay organized. And many students last semester said that the checklist feature saved them. And so definitely check out the checklist when you go back to this main checklist page. Um, these are old checklists from last semester. They will look somewhat similar to this semester, but once there is a common under here that says this checklist is updated and ready to use, you know that the checklist has been updated for this semester for you. But if you want kind of a preview of things, you can definitely look ahead to these checklists if you want. So that's the checklist feature. Also, um, going back to our session agenda, which will take you to um, the rest of the things for the week. Um, here we have our discuss activity, and if you click on this link, it takes you right to the discuss activity for this week. And it explains what you are to do this week is you are to post a short video introduction of who you are. Make sure to include this information. Um, it's this will be we'll be using Flipgrid to do this. And so you click on that link. I've done an example video of you. They're 90 second videos. You post yours um, and then you can respond to others. Once you click on that, you can respond to others as well by just clicking add a reply. And then what um, also going back to our session agenda. Uh, we also have a focus and reflect activity that is due Sunday and you can click on this link and that brings you to that focus and reflect activity. So you'll be able to access the focus and reflect activities and the discuss activities from the um, the session agendas or you can go to them directly under these tabs. Here's the discuss activities, all of them listed and then um, here are all the focus and reflect activities for the semester listed. So you can access them from multiple ways and give yourself time to figure out what your routine will be and how you'll find things and you'll kind of start to develop your patterns of navigating the D2L website. But those are the main things that I wanted to focus on for today. We, um, today's overview video is a little bit longer than normal because it's the first week and I wanted to give extra support as you're getting used to the um, course D2L website and how to navigate it. Do be patient with yourself. It is it is perhaps a pretty steep learning curve for this week as you're getting used to the new course, as you're getting used to the new semester in general, and definitely as you're getting used to this new um, platform and new way perhaps for many of you to do online learning. So um, I'm a big uh, believer in interaction and um, peer learning and constructive learning. And so I very much have designed this course to promote that we tap, promote um, learning from each other and tapping into each other's knowledge sets.
So please let me know if you have any other questions. You can either email, if it's a personal question, you can email me individually. Otherwise, I've set up a course questions tab. You can click on it here or there's a direct link here in today's agenda. Or you can post any questions that you have about the tech course technology, about the assignments, activities, or any announcements you want to make. And I check this very regularly so I can answer those questions and then others can read your questions as well. I wish you a very good first week and do not hesitate to reach out if you have any um, troubles or confusions. Um, I look forward to getting to know you all more this semester.